Hi, it's Mika. Today I want to talk about DI guitar tones. The reason why I want to talk about DI guitar is I forgot about it for decades basically. I used to record straight to mixer or audio interface when I was younger and uh, since Mr. Fastfinger stuff and everything came along, I just, uh, I think I've only used amplifiers and cabinets, micing to cab or these days using a cabinet simulation. As you know, guitar tones are kind of lo-fi and uh, especially the cabinet has a lot to do with that. When you plug straight into a DI box or straight to audio interface, uh, you you get the whole frequency of the the guitar that uh, that is coming out of the the pickups. And this kind of tone it can be really good for funk guitar parts. Currently I'm working on a song that there's a like a party section in this, in this song and I wanted a funk riff and I'm thinking about this uh, Suicide Blonde riff by In Excess and uh, I came up with this this kind of riff. Let's hear how that sounds. Another way of using DI guitar would be um, double tracking, uh, where you could have one guitar playing with the distorted part and then you double that with a DI guitar. And you can, especially if you have more like open strings and chordal stuff, you can get more like acoustic guitar kind of sound. Uh, here's another song that I've been working on. Anyway, uh, without the electric guitar. That's my clean uh, DI tone, cleanish. But this is the other guitar that is um, cabinet or, or kind of sound. Anyways, uh, I, I hope you get inspired to try out some DI guitars in your music or in your life. Just jamming with the, without an amplifier can be really rewarding. I'd like to leave you with the, uh, some tips how I'm doing this. Um, as you know, maybe that I'm using only the studio monitors to monitor my guitar playing. I'm not using a cabinet at all. and. Um, so typically I would use a um, cabinet simulation from the two notes and uh, it basically my tone is like this that's the clean tone and I to get easy access to DI guitar tones I've set a preset where I actually pie bass all the cabinets and miking so I get this sound. As you notice, it's very bright, but that's because I also have the amplifier here on. So if I take my amplifier out of the picture, of the signal, then it starts to sound like... <laughs> 
a good thing. One of the greatest uh, things that you might like to have with a DI signal is a little bit of compression. So that can uh, kind of pack your guitar a little bit. So maybe a little bit of compression in your signal chain and that's just about it. All right, thank you for watching. Hope to see you next week. Maybe another lick again. Wax on and subscribe.